neuro oncology neuro oncology that is we deal with the tumors neoplasms which occur in brain as well as spinal cord okay so that branch of medicine and research which deals with the tumorous conditions of brain and spinal cord the nervous tissue is called neuro oncology so as in many other fields of medicine it involves multiple disciplines right from research into why these tumors occur up to how to treat this tumors how to treat the patients with this tumors how to make the patients with this tumors better how to give them a longer meaningful life and up to rehabilitating those patients who have been suffered with the effects of this tumor there may be some residual weakness in the limbs like paralysis speaking difficulty swallowing difficulty understanding difficulty to rehabilitate them so it's a wide spectrum and it's a team work in a modern day multi specialty hospital like ours so we will have a team comprising of multiple departments they are dealing with the various aspects of care so that is neuro oncology so coming to what kind of tumors can happen in brain it it gives us a thought block when we think about brain conditions particularly so when we think about tumors of the brain generally anywhere in the body their tumors can be divided into two types they are called benign and malignant benign tumors are benign meaning slowly growing they are not too dangerous generally speaking and malignant tumors are the other extreme they are cancerous tumors so if there is any lump swelling anywhere in the body so they can it can be either benign or malignant ranging from slowly growing tumor to a fast growing or which is very rapidly destructive to the surrounding organs which spreads to multiple other organ systems that's called metastasis so that is the cancerous growth but the curious thing in brain is whether it is a benign or a malignant tumor because of the nature of the brain because it's a very important organ every millimeter of the brain has its own function and need so when the tumor presses over or grows from such an important tissue whether it is benign slow growing or whether it is fast growing or whether it's cancerous it has its own bad effects so both have to be taken with equal seriousness the treatment strategies how they present and how we treat them varies whether it is benign or malignant and by knowing what grade the tumor is will give us solace to the patient as well as the relatives and caregivers that we have time and there is a way in which we can slowly tackle this slow growing condition so that's the only reason why we need to know the grade of the tumor so i will give you some examples of what entails this benign and malignant tumors in the brain the common example of the high grade tumors is called glioblastoma that's one of the most dangerous most malignant tumors known to man very rapidly growing in spite of whether with surgery radiation chemotherapy many a times the tumor recurs and quite rapidly and there are other kind of gliomas these are the tumors which occur in the brain primary tumors which can be low grade also they tend to grow slowly amenable for surgery radiotherapy chemotherapy and they have a propensity to come back but there is a way in which we can keep that recurrence under check in the other extreme we have benign tumors they are slow growing tumors which the common example what we see is called meningioma that is the tumor which arises from the covering of the brain it's called the dura there there is a covering of the brain dura arachnoid these are the coverings of the brain it arises from that covering and it presses on to the brain they have many a times easy solutions 
we can surgically take them out when it is accessible. So these are the two wide varieties and common examples of brain tumors. The third variety is called metastatic tumors, that is secondary tumors, that is those tumors which happen elsewhere in the body when it spreads to multiple other organs, even though it spreads to the brain. And many times the, we see these secondary tumors inside the brain, which can be multiple in number. And the treatment strategy for that will be entirely different, most of the time by using radiotherapy or chemotherapy. So that is about common brain tumors, what neuro-oncology is about and how we deal with them. Thank you.